Amazon is in trouble once again and hitting the headlines after agreeing to pay a $25 million civil penalty in respect of charges brought against it by the Department of Justice and the Federal Trade Commission for violating children's privacy rights and flouting parental requests to delete their information. So if you take your personal information and privacy seriously, this video is for you. And just as a heads up, I have a partner for this video called Incogni to help protect your personal privacy, but more about them a little bit later. So the New York Times reports that this is just the latest legal action in what it calls an intensifying regulatory effort to require the world's largest tech platforms to safeguard young people. This case brought by the Federal Trade Commission and the Department of Justice focuses specifically on conversations that children have had with Alexa devices, forgive me if you've got one in the back there, and the information that it collects and had allegedly stored on its servers for several years. The legal complaint filed against Amazon accused it of storing children's conversations with Alexa indefinitely and use the data for business purposes, such as training the algorithm to understand children and what they are after. But it didn't end there. Allegedly, even when parents had asked Amazon to delete these recordings, the regulators said that Amazon failed to delete the transcripts with Alexa machines from all of its databases. The regulator said Amazon's history of misleading parents, keeping children's recordings indefinitely and flouting those deletion requests violated online children's privacy law and sacrificed privacy for profits. The complaint went on to say that Amazon was deceiving customers, including the parents, by repeatedly assuring users that they could delete their data, such as those recordings, yet failing to actually honor those requests and actually not deleting them. Unsurprisingly, Amazon said that whilst it agreed to settle these charges by way of a civil penalty, Amazon said that it disagreed with the FTC's claims and denied violating the children's law. Amazon went on to say, we built the devices with strong privacy protections and customer controls, including the services for Amazon Kids to allow them to manage games, books, and other content. As suggested by the thumbnail, I have a fairly shocking data privacy breach story to tell you, but first, allow me to introduce my partner for this video, which will help to protect your personal privacy called Incogni. You see, your information, including your date of birth, your name, your email address, even your physical address, and even your browsing habits and everything else you do online, might be stored on certain databases and even sold to other companies. And if you wanted to delete that information, you probably wouldn't know where to start. It's one thing to receive an email and click the unsubscribe button at the very bottom, but that company may have got your information from another company that has sold it to them. And these companies, data brokers, sell you and your information because information sells. But if that isn't bad enough, your information can get leaked and then you can become the subject of identity theft, people taking out loans in your name, and this can result in all kinds of trouble. But Incogni is a service designed to require these companies to delete your information from their databases in accordance with data protection laws. It's very easy to do. You don't have to do very much at all. You sign up using the exclusive link that I have in the description below, which will get you an exclusive discount for this service. Once you've signed up and put your details in, Incogni will do the rest. They will contact all of these data brokers and require that they delete your information from from their databases. You can see a flash up on screen right now where I have a progress report just received recently to tell me how many of these companies have confirmed that my data has been removed from their systems. And for those of you that think you're not too worried about them having your information, think of yourself a bit like a jigsaw puzzle because each bit of information that they have on you, they can put together piece you together and create a facsimile, an identity theft version of you. And one of the very real risks of all this is that they can pretend to be you to try to obtain money from your bank accounts, or equally they can take out loans in your name, disappear with the money, and you're left trying to pick up the pieces. So if you want to take positive steps to prevent all that from happening, check out the exclusive discount at the Incogni link in the description below. Make sure you put the code in at the checkout and allow Incogni to get to work for you. So now back to that story that I promised you, which is a fairly horrifying story. I've been talking about certain devices storing and keeping your information and essentially recording your voice. 
and if you have cameras, then obviously recording the internals of your house. Now this story comes when a lady was woken up in the middle of the night to voices in her baby's room. She thought at first that it was her husband talking to the baby, only when she turned over her husband was still in bed. So she got up and went into the next room where the baby was and heard these voices coming from the camera, the baby monitor that was supposed to be for the baby's protection for the parents to monitor the baby. Only to her horror, she could hear somebody who was obviously watching the baby and talking to the baby through the camera. Suffice to say, she destroyed the device and has never used one since. But this also goes to show you that even if you buy from a brand that you think you can trust, there are such allegations against these companies for breach of privacy laws, regardless of how big and trustworthy you think the company might be. But if these complaints of such severity are made against companies like Amazon, imagine the stories like this one that I've just told you that might be true for all of the smaller companies that are selling you much cheaper cameras to put in your home. So this is just another reminder to take your personal information and your privacy seriously. Don't forget to check out the Incogni link in the description below if you want to take positive steps to erase your data from these companies. Make sure you like this video and subscribe and as always thank you for watching.